Wait, what? What did he mean by uh, discontinued? Snack time has been the best part of any day since kindergarten. But just like Mick says, you can't always get what you want. So here to recap what's been lost are the top 15 discontinued snacks Americans miss the most. I miss you. Smuckers, Snack and Waffles. I wanted to get some KY jelly for the class today, but they were all out, so I got Smuckers. Smuckers goes hand in hand with breakfast like Oprah and pantsuits back in the 1990s. And as such, Smuckers went all out beyond jams, spreads, and toppings and came up with snack and waffles. Smuckers snack and waffles officially saw the light of day in 2011. These convenient, portable, and microwavable frozen waffles came in four flavors. Chocolate chip, cinnamon, maple syrup, and blueberry. Choose one. Designed to be eaten when you're short on time, and despite the nostalgic association with snack and waffles now, Smuckers made the tough decision to pull the waffles from shelves and out of our freezers for the foreseeable future. Snack and waffles faded off into the sunset soon after they arrived. It's kind of like the Hollywood of snack food out there. Not everyone's gonna make it. Not everyone can be a star. Dannon Sprinklins. You eat all my Dannon yogurts! Yogurt is more of an adult treat, but add some sprinkles into yogurt and shazam! You've got yourself a winner! In the 90s, Dannon introduced sprinklins to the world in a way to get our kids to actually enjoy yogurt. And it worked! Kids watched as their normally bland experience of enjoying plain yogurt got transformed into a fun and bright moment where they were able to enjoy a vibrant and colorful snack. It was genius! Adding sprinkles to yogurt was a genius idea, but in the early 2000s, Dan and Sprinklins had all but disappeared from shelves. We will remember you fondly, Sprinklins. Farewell. In the meantime, we'll try some of these copycats out there now, modeled after your initiative. GIF Power Ups well, we don't have any traditional power-ups. Peanut butter is typically a fan favorite. With the exception of the peanut allergic among us, most love peanut butter. But one peanut butter food item that was marketed towards active kids and adults were Jif power-ups. The Jif power-ups bars were salty bars that could be enjoyed conveniently wherever and whenever. Well, that is, from when they were introduced in 2018 until they were discontinued recently. Life is short! You see, GIF power-ups were created to attract new customers to the GIF brand. And in this way, they did succeed, even though the product itself was retired from shelves. When they were on the shelves, however, you could have enjoyed a soft-baked bar, a creamy clusters bar, or a chewy granola bar. The choice was yours. But now, if you're in the mood for peanut butter, you may just have to go for a good old PB&J sandwich, which is still a classic. Lay's Fancy Flavors Bring back Lay's Wow Chips with Olestra. Lay's is known for making potato chips, and they're normally pretty darn good at it. With promotions like their Do Us a Flavor contest, the search for America's next favorite potato chip flavor, a lot of chips were made, and a lot were soon ushered to the cutting room floor where they belong. Like the Cheddar Bacon Mac and Cheese Lay's. Those are a mouthful to say, and had to have been a mouthful to enjoy while they were available. Good times, good times! Another fancy flavor that was discontinued were the Everything Bagel with Cream Cheese Chips. We get the vision with that one, but but we don't believe it held its end of the bargain in execution. And then there was the Greek Town Euro flavor. Need we say more? Well, the public's lack of desire for these flavors led to their ultimate demise, but not without making us question why first. Nestle Bug Pops. A bug. A bug? It's every kid's dream. Well, definitely every 90s kid's dream, that's for sure. Nestle created a popsicle so creative, so gross, so delicious looking, so tasty. It was what everybody wanted. And it even had Timon and Pumbaa on the box. Nestle's Bug Pops took the 90s by storm as Lion King popsicles with bug-shaped gummies inside hit freezers. I'll take the real victory. With Lion King-themed cards inside of these icy treats, what what more could anyone need? Nothing. So we don't know why Nestle Bug Pops were discontinued. Was there a gummy shortage? Did Timon and Pumbaa's agent get involved asking for a bigger slice of the pie? We deserve answers. Cream Savers. Blood for cream. 
Blood for cream. Now who doesn't remember cream savers? The staple candy was actually a Nabisco creation made as a spin-off of Lifesavers. If grandma wasn't handing us one from her purse, we were definitely getting our hands on some cream savers somehow. These popular candies were introduced to the world in the late 1990s, but discontinued sometime in the mid-2000s. Like that Tinder date, we don't know why they ghosted us, just that they did. I'm not sure. Not only are they gone, but they didn't leave a return address either, meaning we have no way of tracking them down. They're not online, they're not in retail stores, and all around just not available for purchase. But have no fear, because if you find yourself really craving some of these famous Lifesaver spin-offs, Campino yogurt fruit candies are actually kinda similar. So go to town. Kellogg's Yogos. Mmm, yogurt chip. This popular snack was introduced in 2005, but then discontinued in 2010. This delicious snack that Americans used to enjoy consisted of small, multicolored, fruity snacks enclosed in a yogurt shell. They were marvelous. They were tasty. They were not destined to last long. Despite trying to recreate the image, possibly after a slew of salacious snacking scandals, yogos were unsuccessful at maintaining a grip on the snack market childhood slipping away. They went from being Yogos to Yogo Bits to Sour Bits, ditching the Yogos name altogether. Word is that while these yogurty bits of goodness were officially taken off the shelves because of health reasons, supposedly they were really removed because they were too expensive to make. There was also greater risk of the product spoiling due to the yogurt usage, which would translate into a loss of profits that not even Kellogg's really wanted to bear. Oreo Cakesters. Oreo really upped its game while I was in prison. We'll take any variation on one of our favorite cookies, the Oreo. Oreos have a solid place in our hearts that can never be discontinued. In fact, you could do almost anything with an Oreo and we'd still be happy. So what in the heck was Nabisco thinking, taking this version of the Oreo cookie off the shelves? Oreo Cakesters were these soft, bite-sized cakes similar to our beloved Oreo cookies. Sounds good. Prior to being discontinued in 2012, Cakesters were available in Double Stuffed, Golden, Chocolate, and Peanut Butter flavors. If you're in Japan, you may be able to get a taste of a similar treat, an Oreo soft cookie that is only available in that part of the globe. We may not know why these cookies were taken from us, but we can reflect on all of the smiles they brought into our lives. Doritos Guacamole Joe, you're crying over Doritos commercial. Guacamole is one of those reminders that there is always a little bit of heaven on earth, so it's not a surprise to any of us that Doritos would try and give us a taste. And that is exactly what they did in 2003 when Doritos introduced their new guacamole chip flavor. Thing is, despite being an overnight sensation, it wasn't really a robust or long-term one. That's weird. Such a shame, because three years after its release in 2006, Doritos guacamole waved at us like a British royal and then just disappeared. Gone without a trace. There was a resurgence of the chips in the UK in recent years, but as far as accessing Doritos guacamole, guacamole in America, you're gonna need a time machine for that one. And unfortunately, looking for one is a quest you're gonna have to take solo. Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars We're in Philadelphia! Your trip down memory lane continues. Remember those cheesy, decadent, sensuous snack bars you used to bite into when you got hunger pangs on the go? You know, the sweet and delectably cheesy ones? It's the Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars from the not-so-distant past, and apparently more than a few people want these snack bars to become a thing of the present and future. I got mine, they were really good. Marketed as being heavenly in the ad campaigns, this snack really satisfied cravings. The public consistently posts all over Philadelphia's social media to this day, trying to encourage the company to bring the cheesecake snack bars back. So far, no dice. But who's to say what's to come in the future? Banana Nut Cheerios 
We brought Cheerios for you. Cheerios are delicious and always bring their A-game with their various flavors. But in the not-too-far-distant past, there existed Banana Nut Cheerios. These Cheerios were a combination of whole-grain oats with natural banana puree and a cinnamon touch. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, people said it was so good, the cereal even reminded them of banana bread. And nothing beats a fresh loaf of banana bread. It's the best. Uh -huh. In any case, they ended up discontinuing the cereal flavor, but just like our fave musicians often do at concerts, Banana Nut Cheerios came back for an encore. They returned to shelves as a limited time offer for a while, and now you may even have a chance to find them online. We wish you the best of luck in your hunt, and if you come up short, don't blame the messenger. Cheetos, X's and O's. I could stand here and I could talk X's and O's all day long. Tic-tac-toe, anyone? Well, even if you didn't want to play the game, you were definitely down to eat. The Cheetos X's and O's snack was the perfect marriage of fun meets deliciousness. These light, crispy puffs of cheesy goodness came in fun X and O bite-sized shapes. After only one year in stores, Cheetos X's and O's was retired from the snack game. That hasn't, however, stopped campaigns from being launched advocating for their return. All right, but I want them back. Americans miss this snack so much and are so bored without it that they have resorted to now playing tic-tac-toe with their exotic pets. Help yourself to a helping of the old days and reminisce with us about this delicious variation on the classic Cheetos. They may not be the same, but the classic ones are still around. Just because X's and O's are discontinued doesn't mean you have to deprive yourself of Cheetos cheesy goodness. Wonka Peel a Pop. Peel the banana. Peel the banana. The Wonka Peel a Pop cold treat looked so much like a banana you could peel it. But it differed from a banana in that you could actually eat the peel. This delicious iced treat was available in two flavors vanilla banana and vanilla grape. So you had your choice of a variation on vanilla or a variation on vanilla. And you choose, surprise, surprise, the variation on vanilla. Life is unpredictable. People loved these treats, especially the youngins. The Wonka Peel a Pop was released around the same time as the 50th anniversary of Rolled Dolls, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but it is now nowhere to be found. Nestle knows the people want the Wonka Peel a Pop back, but sadly there is no word on its resurgence as of yet. But keep your fingers crossed, maybe one day. Carnation Breakfast Bars Nobody got me Carnation. Carnation makes a great hot chocolate. Most foodies know this. But did you know that Carnation used to make breakfast bars? Popular with the younger generation at the time, these bars were enjoyed when sitting down for breakfast wasn't really much of an option. Chocolatey, dense, and marketed as the hip pocket meal, Carnation breakfast bars were introduced in the 1970s. Where are we? The 70s? However, because their main demographic were young kids and teens, eventually that generation got older and grew disinterested in the bars. And pretty soon after, Carnation's breakfast bars were discontinued and out of the game. Though convenient, these bars did not prove to stand the test of time. Oreo Sippers Mother, Oreo smoothie now! They say if you give a mouse a cookie, then that mouse is going to ask for milk. So for the good people at Oreo, the only rational next step was to combine the two. And so Oreo Sippers was born. Oreo Sippers were essentially Oreo straws for sipping your milk. They were Oreo-style wafer cookies in cylindrical shapes hollowed out in the center for all the sipping fun. Just for fun. You can enjoy Oreo Sippers as a tool for slurping up your daily quotient of calcium, or you could eat them as is when you just want to quickly grab a snack. Despite accumulating quite the fandom, Oreo Sippers were discontinued in 2012. Ciao, Oreo Sippers. We miss you so. First time here? Then leave us a comment and hit that subscribe button. And for another great video, just tap or click.